This video highlights some of the new features and bug fixes Evergreen version 3.9 will bring to Sitka's Evergreen. When you log into Evergreen, the Splash page, also referred to as the Staff Portal page, will appear. In Evergreen 3.9, it looks a little different, but still contains the same information and links. In the Administration box, you'll find links to Sitka's Evergreen documentation, as well as Sitka's Evergreen support page. On the Live server, the Staff News section will continue to display communications from co-op support. Interfaces with the newer function bar now include a way to manage the menu options. Click on the gear icon and then select Manage Actions menu. Select or deselect the actions you would like to add or remove from the menu. And click Close. Next, click on the gear icon again and choose Save Grid Settings. Your changes have been saved and the Actions menu will reflect your changes. It is now easier than ever to help your patron reset their password. The Send Password Reset link in Patron Edit will send the patron an email with a link to reset their password, same as if they went through the Forgot Your Password link in the public catalog. The patron does need to have an email address saved in their account for this function to work. In the patron account, there is now a patron preferred language field. This can be set by a staff member in the staff client or by the patron via my account in the public catalog. At this time, the available languages are French and English. Co-op support is working to have all of our generic notification templates available in French so that patrons who select French will receive their emails in French. If you have customized your English notice and would like your French notice to match, rather than using the generic template, please send the French translation to co-op support and we will update the notice in the system. The triggered events and notifications interface has been updated to make it easier to read. This is accessed through other triggered events and notifications. This is where you can check to see if an email or text message has been generated by Evergreen to tell your patron about things like holds ready for pickup, items coming due, and overdue items. Our training server doesn't send out emails or text messages, so there are currently no triggered events to display here, but you'll be able to see this after the upgrade on the live server. The biggest change to patron accounts is the consolidated notes interface. All patron related messaging now goes through the notes tab. The alert field has been removed from the patron edit and the notes interface has been removed from the other menu. Any existing alerts or notes from these places have been migrated into the new notes functionality as part of the upgrade. The notes tab is very similar to the current messages tab. Here you can see any notes on the patron's account and create new notes. To create a new note, click create note. Here there are two changes. One is the patron visible checkbox. When checked, the note will be visible to the patron via my account in the public catalog. The other is the new depth selector. If you do reciprocal borrowing, you can now create notes that are visible at all libraries in your zone by selecting regional libraries. Overriding at checkout has been made easier. If a patron has a block on their account preventing checkouts, you will now have a checkbox to automatically override for the subsequent items too. So if your patron exceeds the checkout limit because they've just returned a stack of picture books into the Dropbox, you no longer need to individually override each new picture book as you check out their new stack. The holds pull list has been updated. It has a new look but the same functionality with the addition of a library selector. Multi-branch libraries can now use the library selector to take a look at the pull list for any of their branches. In the detail view of item status, there is now an option for displaying a breakdown by year for an item's total circulation. Click on the icon beside Total Circs to display this breakdown. The preferred patron name is now used on the hold screen as well as in the Evergreen self check. The traditional catalog has been removed in Evergreen 3.9. As you can see here, it is no longer an option in the cataloging menu. If any of your staff are still using the traditional catalog, 
Now is the time to have them start working with the new staff catalog so it's familiar after the upgrade. When searching in the catalog, whatever library you have set as your preferred library in the search preferences will always display in the holding counts in the search results. For libraries participating in Interlibrary Connect, this will make searching ILC zones easier, as you can easily see which titles your library owns copies of. Also on the search results, the call number now displays in the brief details. This will be the call number of your preferred library's item or the first library alphabetically that holds a copy if your preferred library doesn't have a copy. There is now a Show More Details button. When clicked, eResource links will display for eResources, and for physical items, the details will display in the item information grid. For more information on the staff catalog, see our Sitka training video, Searching the Catalog. The Evergreen Public Catalog has a new look. The features and functions you're familiar with are still here, they just display a little differently. A basic search for gardening returns our results. Sorting and limiting are available. The facets on the left can be used to narrow your search. On the right are options to place holds and add items to the basket. Within a record, the holdings information displays and more details from the bibliographic record can be seen by clicking on the More Details button. Actions, including Place a Hold, are available on the right. In Advanced Search, the current functionality is still available. How Filters Display has changed. Instead of scrolling through a list, the filter bars expand to show you your options and you can check the boxes for the values you'd like to filter on. Patrons can log into their account by clicking My Account. If your library has patron self-registration enabled, the Request a Card link will display on the login screen. Information about the patron's account displays on the summary page. Patrons can use the menu to navigate through their account. Evergreen 3.9 brings new library settings. These will be noted in the relevant places in Sitka's Evergreen documentation. The Shelving Location Order Interface can now be used to adjust the order your shelving locations appear in on your pull list for hold requests. By default, items on your pull list appear alphabetically by shelving location and are then listed by call number within each shelving location. To make it easier for the staff members pulling holds, you can reorder your shelving locations for the pull list so that it more closely matches how your shelving locations are physically arranged in your library. In Evergreen, go to Administration, Local Administration, and choose Shelving Location Order. Here, you can select the shelving location you'd like to reorder and use the arrows to move it through the list. In this example, we're going to move French Adult Fiction to fall after Adult Fiction as those shelving locations are located in the same area of the fictional Maple Public Library. Once you've made your desired changes, click Save Changes. The pull list for holds requests will now display shelving locations in the order you specified. Many acquisitions administrative interfaces have been updated. Like other places in Evergreen, the look has changed, but the functionality is mostly the same. Several interfaces have been consolidated, so they're now tabbed within an interface instead of separate interfaces. For example, funds, funding source, and fund tags are now all accessed through fund administration. One small but important new feature is that funding sources now have an active flag, and the interface only displays active funding sources by default. This means you can set funding sources you're no longer using to be inactive, and they won't display unless you remove the default filter. There are also improvements to the columns in acquisition search. The purchase order cancel reason now shows the name of the cancel reason instead of just the ID number. The date columns now include the timestamp and not just the date. Another significant bug fix in acquisitions is that canceling a line item will no longer delete the item from the catalog 
if that item's status is no longer on order. Evergreen now has an integrated course reserves module. This module is intended for academic libraries with reserved collections, though other types of libraries may find uses for it as well. You can access the module via local administration. Go to Administration, Local Administration, and select Course Reserves List. Here you can see existing courses and create new courses to which you can add both physical and electronic holdings. The advantage of the course module is that you can temporarily change item attributes like call number and circulation modifier, and then have Evergreen restore the attributes to their original values when the course is done and the items are no longer on reserve. Additionally, students will be able to see the course reserves in the public catalog. If you have the course reserves module turned on, you'll have the options for search courses and browse courses. Students can search for their course Select the course they want to view, and from here see a list of items on reserve for their course with information such as the relationship to their course, the status of the item, and where the item is currently located. Further information about the course reserves module will be available in Sitka's Evergreen documentation after the upgrade to 3.9 is complete. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.